Hey guys, Erica here, Scrap Diva 29. Welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone has had a wonderful Christmas and is having a happy new year. Um, I am coming on today because I want to share with you guys a loaded bag that I had recently made. Um, I have been doing a little bit of crafting here and there. My kids are still on um, Christmas break, so it's been a little bit difficult, but I did manage to do a couple little things. So I want to share with you this Valentine's loaded bag uh, that I just recently made. I think it came out super cute. So let's get started. All right, so let's start with the uh, pocket down here. This um, heart doily that you're looking at, that gold heart doily, is actually a Spellbinders die. In case you're wondering, um, I did use a Brenda Walton rosette die to create that rosette. And then this is just table scatter probably from the Dollar Tree or Walmart from last year. The paper collection that I used, um, I believe it's American Crafts. I don't have the pad right in front of me, but it is a paper pad that I had purchased um, from Tuesday morning in case you're wondering. All right, so you can see I have one of these really cute arrows that is a decorative uh, clothespin. Um, I did purchase this last year from the Target Dollar Spot. So I think this is extra cute. So I included that on this little bag. Right here I have my little handmade pom-pom um, using the pom-pom maker by We Are Memory Keepers. I love that thing and I love making pom-poms. They're so addictive. All right, moving along. Let me share with you the cute little tags that I made. And I will share with you, one second, the die that I used to create this tag. It is a new die that I just recently uh, picked up. And this is Marianne Designs Creatable. And that's what the, the die looks like. I believe this is a die that you get from England. And I did order this online. I don't remember what website I ordered it from. But if you just, uh, if you're interested, let me know in the comments and I'll leave the information below. But um, I saw Carol Herlock. She had this beautiful die and um, she is the one that, uh, had me ordering this beautiful tag die. So anyway, let me share with you what I created. I did use my Greeting Farm stamps to color up these super cute little girls and I will zoom in just a tad so you guys can see. But I used different uh, deco paper and then the little tag topper is glitter uh, paper. And then I used my My Creative uh, Bow die to create the bows and then the bling is from Michaels. And then this is just twine from Target. And this one says cute on the front of it. And I love the way it came out. And then on the back of the tags, I did stamp out adorbs. And this is using a paper smooches stamp set. And uh, my friend Kim Possible here on YouTube. Hey Kim, how you doing girl? Um, she had used this stamp set a while back in one of her uh, videos. And that's what made me buy this stamp set and um, knew that I wanted to use it and I thought it would be perfect for Valentine's Day. So I stamped that adorbs and then used some washi tape, which I had picked up last year from Target. No, 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 not Target, uh, Michaels. So super cute. And then there's this tag right here and you can see in the middle it has some heart bling. And I think that's Recollections bling that I purchased last year. And then I got this cute little girl right here colored up and I just added stickles to her purse and her little hat. And then the back of this one says, you're the bomb. And I just think those are so super cute. And whoever I gift this to, they can actually use these, these tags and put them on a gift. So I just think they're beautiful and uh, extra, extra cute. And then this is the last one. I love this one. I love the pink polka and um, the pretty pink little bow in her hair is just so darling and she's carrying her little heart purse how appropriate for v-day right and then on the back of this one it says totes adorbs and again just stamped it out and then used some washi tape right here up here uh i could have stamped to and from but i just decided to leave it blank i will let whoever receives this decide what they want to do but I think these three tags came out so extra cute. So I'm loving those three little tags that I made. 
Moving along, I had just included this heart tag right here, which is, I believe, crepe paper, and this was a pre-made tag that I had purchased from Tuesday morning. And then this tag right here is a tag that I made using Spellbinders, uh, Spellbinders tag die, and then this is a Gina Marie stitched heart on this particular tag that I made. And then on the back, it just says, Handmade by Scrap Diva 29. So I just thought it was a nice little added touch. And then looking at the front of this pocket, I did decorate it. So this doesn't come off. It's just part of the decoration, but I die cut out a feather and this was some probably from the paper pad that I use. I cut the little uh, card out and then I punched out that fox. And that fox is a punch from Hobby Lobby. And I just thought that was really cute to just add as a decorative little piece to the bag. I did create a paper clip rosette and added one of the Target uh, dollar spot hearts on the front of this little clip right here. And then on the back it has a heart just to cover it up. Super cute. This tag right here says hugs and kisses and this is actually a tag that I had created last year and I just decided to include it in this bag because it goes along with the Valentine's Day theme and it's super super cute that hugs and kisses is a paper smooches die i believe and it does come with those lips and i die cut it out of silver paper and um fun foam to give it that dimension if you see that and then added some tool to the top of that so extra extra cute and then the tag die itself i believe is jaded blossom moving along i did make a uh, one wand um, out of this really cute straw and I think I got these straws at TJ Maxx last year and it says love and then I just tied some tool and I used the Spellbinders heart uh, die and then the waffle flower heart rosette die to create the heart rosette and then I punched out love a couple times in red and pink glitter paper uh, to uh, just kind of give it that layered effect. And then this is the back and I just layered it with some deco paper from the um, paper pad and I think it's a super cute little embellishment. So that's my little wand. Moving along, I did uh, make a gift card holder using Lawn Fawn's uh, uh, gift card die set and it just says enjoy. And I wrapped this twine around the little card. I thought that was cute. My friend Bridget, she decorated one similar. Hey girl. And then this is the back and it just has a heart. And then in here I have a Michael's gift card. So we'll be giving this to somebody. So I just thought that was really cute and it just says enjoy. And uh, moving along, I did create this tag and this is using that Mama Elephant tag set that I recently shared with you guys. Um, I love that tag set. As you can see, I did um, stamp out a Prima Girl and I did do some paper piecing and I got this idea to layer the little dress and add the little tool to the skirt from my girl Christine who is Shabby Pink House. Hey Christine, if you're watching, um, she made my daughter a beautiful birthday card a couple years ago or almost a couple years ago and she had used the same Prima stamp um, hers was obviously Shabbylicious beautiful, better than mine, but this is what I came up with and I think it came out cute, not as cute as Christine's, but I just love that idea of adding a little tool and then uh, popping up the little dress for uh, a layered effect. I used my diamond dye to uh, layer uh, behind the girl and then I stamped out Happy Valentine's Day. And then you can see I've added the bling strip, which you can get at, I believe, Hobby Lobby. And then that bow is a Michaels bow from the dollar spot from a while back. So super cute tag. And then the back is just left plain. I decided not to write on it, but I mean, obviously you could write on it. It could be, you know, like a card or you could just put your... If you're swapping with someone, with someone, you could put your your swap information on that back of that. So extra cute. And then the last thing that's in my little bag is this a set of handmade embellishments. Um, I just recently bought a new die. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> but I did pick up this Echo Park um, apron die. And let me see. 
what is it called? It's called Face, let me just, let me show you right here. It's Fancy Apron Die Set, and it's by Echo Park. And I think I ordered this off of scrapbook.com. And it has, Echo Park has a really cute um, line. I think it's Handmade Happiness or something like that. And the paper line is extra cute. I wanted to get it, but I didn't. But it's adorable if you, you're wondering. Definitely check it out. But this is part of that line. And so when I saw this die, I knew that I wanted to have it. And I know at some point I really want to do some type of recipe book for my kitchen and include this super cute apron. So anyway, enough about that. <laughs> I did create three little aprons using that die. As you can see, I used the deco paper and glitter, pink and red glitter. And then this one up here is a red foil paper. And I did pop it up on foam dots to give the aprons a little bit of dimension. The uh, paper that I used itself was just a blank piece of white paper and I used my embossing folder to emboss the background for cute packaging. And I just added these little hearts for decoration. And I think it's so super cute. So that's the way that came out. I need to put my handmade stamp on the back of that, but aren't those just extra cute? So anyway, that is my... Um, loaded bag. I hope you guys like what I made today. I didn't share with you. This is the back. It says life is better with friends and I did use some washi tape and then another one of those glitter hearts which is table scatter. I believe from the Dollar Tree or Walmart. I, I can't remember. It's nothing that I bought from this year but it's really glittery and sparkly. So super cute. So that is my loaded mini loaded bag share. Hope you like what I made today. Please leave me a comment. Thank you for watching and Happy New Year. See you in my next video. Bye.